guests welcome welcome god bless you welcome to everyone the lord richly bless you in jesus mighty name and if you're coming in for the first time this is chantal ikabe always here to pray with you and to share the word of the lord with you today i want to give us um a counsel and i'm going to speak to you from a place of a friend i'm going to speak to you from a place of a friend today and a sister as well and i'm just going to tell you something that's in my heart now a lot of us we go through so much in life not knowing what is happening where the problem is coming from what is the root cause and so i want to address that in this video i'll be speaking to you also from a place of experience if you are new to this channel you're very much welcome god bless you i want you to pay attention to these things that i'm going to share with you today when god starts to bless you when he starts to use you starts to promote you even before he starts doing that i want you to take note of this be careful of the people that you join yourself with be aware of who comes into your life and who walks out of your life now everybody who comes into our life they either come to bring an addition a subtraction a division or a multiplication this is something i i heard and it really blessed me so they come in for a reason and it's always for a season be aware of who comes in who stays and who is to go when the lord says so hallelujah it's very important now a lot of us we have fallen into traps walked into you know setups plots because we were not careful enough to protect ourselves from people whom the devil sent to our lives we're not careful enough to see that this person walking into my life stepping into my life at this time is not of the lord but is of the devil and he has a mission he has a purpose or she has a mission she has a purpose from the pit of hell she has been sent by the devil i'm going to say this plainly to us not everybody who walks into your life is coming in for good you must be careful you must pray and ask god god must reveal to you who stays who is of him and who is not of him i've heard a lot of stories and testimonies also from men of god about people walking into their lives with assignments with missions and when these people succeed you know when they come into your life and you're not able to discern and they succeed with the mission they succeed to do what they were sent to do you are going to be left down you're going to be left down and the lord doesn't want this to happen hallelujah so let's look at these groups of persons that you must avoid especially if you're watching this video you have the call of god upon your life or you're aspiring to be someone great in life you know you want you want to be someone great or even if you are just somebody who wants to live a normal life you still have to be careful of these people as long as you are of god you are god's anointed you god's chosen please choose your friends and choose them wisely now the first group of persons i wrote down has to do with gossipers you have a lot of gossipers around you now when i talk of gossipers i'm talking about people who will come to you with information talking about others all the time they come and tell you what is happening what is going on and also these people they not only come to you with information on what is happening what is going on they also ask you what is happening in your life what is going on in your life they are always very curious they want they always want to know what is happening what is taking place please be very careful the same way they are bringing information to you about others is the same way they are going to be relating information concerning you to others and as a man of god or a woman of god don't talk so much don't talk too much learn to be quiet learn to keep certain things to yourself because it's what we say that is often being used against us most often it's what you say it's what you release out there that the devil uses against you so we have to be careful the things that we say especially when it has to do with our plans you know the things that we have set our hearts to do set our minds to do keep them to yourself until they are ready the second groups of people has to do with haters now these people most often they come out plainly but there are some that are often covered concealed they are not revealed so it's hard to really identify 
identify them but you know they are haters they really don't love you they don't love to see your progress so what they always do is they try to do things that will get you marred that will sabotage you that will keep you you know discouraged and um it's gonna slow you down and keep you from fulfilling your god-given purpose so they hate on what you're doing they hate on even your ideas if you have to share it with them they hate on what concerns you you have to be very careful i'd rather you keep things to yourself than share with these kind of people and for some of us who don't um you know know them you don't know that these people um you know they are haters maybe in front of you they are they are acting like friends they are acting like lovers but on the inside of them they are haters pray that the lord reveals their hearts to you pray that he reveals their intentions to you hallelujah and once the lord reveals it to you don't um you know don't try to accommodate them and say oh they are going to change this person is going to change no you'll be making a very big mistake walk away walk away run away hallelujah run away yeah, the third group has to do with those who come to you when you are succeeding how they call um these groups of persons you know those will come to you when you are actually succeeding you will know who is for you you know you're going to know who is truly for you in your hard times in your moments of trials that's when you really know who is for you the people that are going to stay with you the people that are going to be with you encourage you you know um help you when you are down those people really love you and they care for you those are the people that the Lord has truly sent for you. Not the ones that come in because they see that things are good. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you should just send away everyone who comes into your life when you are when you are succeeding. No, you, you have to be discerning. You have to be discerning. Ask yourself um, why this person has walked into my life at this time. And you'll be able to know when you see someone who comes to your life because you're succeeding. You'll be able to know because of how they will act and they'll be very demanding as well you know you'll, you'll be able to tell from their actions don't accommodate those people because you are going to regret it you end up being hurt those people what they do is they always come in to receive they don't give they don't art they just come in to take and they don't truly care about you when you need them they will not be there they are coming in for what they can get they are coming in for the things that they can get from you and so you have to be careful and then the fourth has to do with those who are jealous oftentimes these groups of persons are those who are close to you it could be from your family it could be your friends you know those who are jealous sometimes they hide it and sometimes it's openly revealed when you send such around you run away you know run away don't accommodate it now the last has to do with betrayers betrayers a lot of times we have encountered people who betray us and this can be very very painful it can be very hurting that you tell someone something or you trust someone with something and they end up betraying you it's so painful don't hesitate to shut someone like that um you know shut that person out of your life send that person out of your life don't hesitate to do that because if you continue to give them room they will continue to betray and hurt you and what that is going to do is it's going to limit you it's going to stop you from reaching where god wants you to reach now the reason why most often god is going to isolate the people that he's using the chosen verses is because he wants them to fulfill their assignment he wants them to be able to fulfill their purpose when you have so much going on around you you have a lot of people that you work with and you know there's just so much going on around you it brings distraction and that distraction is going to slow you down it will slow you down so if you have to go first and if if you have to go far you must be mindful there are some people you can't go with there are some people you can't walk with you must be ready to step on the part of isolation now it doesn't mean that you cut off from everybody no you just have to be discerning ask god for the grace 
to be discerning. Ask God for help. Let him help you to be able to see with the eyes of the spirit who is of him, who is not from him, so that you know who you're working with. Because uh, um, at the end of the day, you cannot do it all by yourself. You need help. You need help us. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord will send to you just the right people, the right persons, the ones that are truly for you, the ones that have a heart for you and the assignment that God has given to you, the ones that will not betray you, the ones that are not going to sabotage you and all of that, but the ones that will stand with you, partner with you and see to it that your assignment, that the purpose of God concerning your life comes to pass in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will send to you right backups, right men in Jesus' mighty name. And one last thing I'm going to say is that who you are to people is also what people are going to be to you right so you have to learn also to be loving to people you have to learn to accommodate people you have to learn to support people as well those are the kind of things you will attract to you when you give it to others hallelujah it's often said that what you give out is what is going to come back to you so who you are to others is you know um is going to determine um the people that come into your life so let's be mindful of that but nevertheless whether you are good so nice you know so kind you will always have people sent by the devil to you so we must be discerning god bless you thank you so much for watching thank you for listening and if you think that this video is going to help someone out there please don't hesitate to share it share with that person share with a friend share with a loved one share with a family member the lord might just use this to help them hallelujah god bless you i love you if this was a blessing don't forget to like it and also subscribe if you are new feel free to join the family we welcome you in jesus mighty name i love you stay blessed stay protected and i hope to see you in another one by his special grace